Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Harry Maguire League SBC card released today. Um, he looks pretty cool. There is a couple things missing on this card in regards to him being a full meta card, but he looks incredibly usable for the stats they've given him, right? So my boy finally has his full EPL Manchester United team and it looks freaking sick. Okay, if he had my prime Rio Ferdinand, you know, it would look really nice But it is what it is. Sorry a little bit of banter for my boy Tony Hey guys, we're looking at a card that is six foot four with high high work rates the high high work rates with six foot four Very key things with this card. Okay, two star skill moves and a three star weak foot in regards to his actual attributes the thing that is the most noticeable obviously is the fact that he has 70 acceleration with 79 sprint speed so it is absolutely mandatory that you give him the shadow chemistry style now the thing that throws this card off of being a full meta card is obviously the fact that he doesn't have the minimum of 90 acceleration 90 sprint speed because as you guys know attackers who are full meta usually have above 90 so to be able to catch up to certain players it is an ideal situation if you're not abusing the low depth super defensive tactics right but regardless of that guys the card still looks drastically improved in very very important areas and we're going to be talking about that right so even though it's not in the 90s guys 85 acceleration with 89 sprint speed is still really, really good. It's important that his acceleration is not 80 because I believe when I was trying out the team of the season PK card, the 80 acceleration really, really annoyed me. And I was like, dude, if this card had at least an 84, 85, I would like this card more to avoid that sluggish feel to him. The good thing about this card too is the fact that he has 64 agility and 67 balance, but... The three key areas for dribbling in regards to reactions, ball control, and dribbling are really good. And he also has a 98 composure. Huge, huge thing right there to make this card incredibly usable, right? Finishing presence, don't care for that. Passing presence, really good. So certain angles, this card will be able to pass with probably both feet. Because even with, even with the three-star weak foot, if your passing stats are that good, he's still going to take some decent passes here and there. So, you know, those tight angles, those tight angles, like angled passes when you're kind of like facing this way and you want to pass that way. Stuff like that. Very, very important to be able to have good passing abilities for that, right? In regards to defensive stats, guys, with the Shadow Chemistry Style boost, you are essentially making him a defensive beast, right? Because you're giving him essentially perfect, uh, perfect defending. The big thing that we were mentioning earlier with this card, right, is the six foot four height with high high work rates. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Maguire's body type in game, but he's freaking huge. Okay, he has a huge body type, and that is gonna be massive in regards to making him a very good center back okay and could potentially could potentially make him better than baby ferdinand i don't really like baby ferdinand too much i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys his prime is on another level compared to other center backs but this baby one for me i personally don't really mess with too much right but with mcguire that body type that he has is going to be huge right i'm going to show you guys in game when we get into a match right um but not only does he have that body type? But he's going to have the aggression of 92. So that with his increased pace of 70, uh, 85 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, going to be massive. But he has 98 strength on top of the body type that he has and 92 jumping. So I still think this card's going to be really good. I still think it's going to be significantly better than PK's card. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't disappoint me in game. But I do think he's going to be a defensive monster. Now... Because of his high, high work rates, guys, it's going to be very interesting for me to try him out on pressure on heavy touch because if I use him on pressure on heavy touch with high depth, I'll be able to test what he's like coming back in the defensive areas, right? So obviously, I don't care about the results for these types of player reviews. We just want to see what the player is like. We'll, th we'll put the players in the box super high as well, super attacking, so we can test out the card more. But we will be trying him out in a 4-2-3-1 next to Rio Ferdinand. After that, we will be using the three at the back formation with a three. We could use a three, four, one, two. Doesn't really matter too much. And we'll be using him as the lone center back. So again, the high, high work rate is going to be very, very interesting to try out. We'll go ahead and put uh, pressure on heavy touch again. Nothing too crazy. And we'll make sure that for the other center backs, we'll tell him to join the attack, right? So again, we're going to be switching between the 4-2-3-1, the 3-4-1-2 or whatever that was. It's any three at the back formation to be able, for me to be able to try out the card um, 
Yeah, man, I think he's going to be good. I think the high, high work rates is going to be interesting. I wonder if he's going to be an aggressive oriented center back on that pressure on heavy touch. That's going to be the interesting thing. But hopefully with Rio Ferdinand being a medium, medium work rated player and Maguire being a high, high work rated player, they move in line with each other really well. So that with the pressure on heavy touch from the 4-2-3-1 should be a very, very interesting thing to try out. Now, I actually have to set up. This is for the 4-1-2-2. Um, you know what? For the four one two and two, yeah, we could do it for the four one two and two as well. Let's just do that instead. We'll we'll use that instead of four two three one. As long as it's a four at the back formation, not necessarily a big deal, right? So the instructions are not going to be too relevant. We just want to make sure that he is in the right position. Everybody else in the wrong positions doesn't really matter. So let's get into a game. See how he plays. Hopefully, he's a beast. All right, guys, so we'll start off with our 4-1-2-1-2. Two, two. We did actually move the uh, formation around, so that way we had all the players in the right position. So let's go see how he plays right now. So you could see already in-game that his body type is absolutely massive, and the way that he's moving off of Ferdinand right off the get-go is really good. We'll switch to Ferdinand in this situation. Little L-trigger shield. Sticks to position really well, and also marks the other player that's making the oncoming run. Let's see what his dribbling is like on the ball. Dribbling is actually quite decent. The agility and bounce obviously noticeable for sure, but the three other dribbling stats that he gets improved in have drastically improved the card. Now, again, you can see with this card, he's absolutely massive in game, okay? We're going to go ahead and switch Blanc out here. Create that space right there. Use Rio Ferdinand. Block the space right here. Nice little near post strike right there. You can see that Maguire actually holds that near post angle really... Not near post angle, but he holds that defensive area really, really nicely. Um, again, that physical presence that he has and the height that he has, body type that he has, is going to be huge with this card. Where is he on the corner right here? Oh, he's like, a little, he's a little far right here. He should be the, he should be the guy in near post for sure. Definitely should be the guy in the near post right there. Okay, so we're going to defend a, like semi-decently right here. Let's see what's up here. We're going to use the midfield here like we normally do. Starts marking the player right there. Stays in line with Rio Ferdinand while marking. Starts to track back in that situation as well. Yeah, so he's in line. Great tackle right there. That height. That height, man. I'm telling you, that height and body type is going to be huge right there. Um, yeah, his marking with Rio Ferdinand is really good, guys. Like, obviously, if you give him the shadow chemistry style, you are essentially giving him perfect defending, which is incredibly noticeable in game and that pass power was, was ridiculous so Rio Ferdinand's out of position you can see that Lauren Blanc went to go occupy Rio Ferdinand's position now and uh, Maguire again occupies Rio Ferdinand's position so they switched between each other right there so a really really good rotation policy just in case I feel like over committing one of my center backs forward so really nice right there You know what, guys? I feel like his pace is not really going to be that big of a problem because I feel like his height and his body type is going to compensate so well for it, you know? Okay, we're going to switch out right here. Don't overcommit with Juan Basaka. Just want to see what his tracking is like here. You know what? He blocks the middle position actually really well because in that situation right there, you obviously need to switch to him earlier so that you can defend that situation. And again, that body type, physical presence that he has is going to be a massive deal right there. I'm going to get the ball here, the Greenwood ball roll touch, open up the space there, get back onto that near post, and nice little save right there. See what your shot power is like from here. Oh, it's not great. <laughs> All right, guys, so now we're going to use the three at the back formation. So we'll have a little bit of an attacking presence so that this guy can attack us a little bit more. But we want to use Maguire playing as a center back on stay back while attacking while the other two are on join the attack. Just to see what he's like defensively in certain positions. There we go. Oh, my God, dude. Did you guys just see that freaking slide tackle he just did right there? Oh my god. Ooh, oh wow. Man, when your players don't have the finesse shot trait, like they do not hit those.
There we go. Overcommitment went there with Rio Ferdinand. And again, guys, defensive presence. Yo, I don't... You know what's funny, man? It, it, it almost feels like the high, high work rates that he has is actually really compensating for the fact that he doesn't have 90 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. It feels like that, man. I'm telling you guys. Oh, great tackle there, but, you know, <laughs> it goes to the other person right there. So what I noticed in that situation right there was that when Maguire is caught out of position, that's when you're going to notice that it might be a little bit of a nuisance where he doesn't have that 90 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. What I'm telling you guys, I feel like if he's caught out of position, it's going to be mostly your fault because his positioning is really, really good. Oh! What was that? Bro, I didn't even see the ball. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even see the ball, bro. <laughs> what was that? This guy just just took a bullet right there with 82 shot power. <laughs> okay, bro, top left corner. Let's get it. Woo! Beautiful attacking play right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go. Nice. Good interception there with Maguire. Again, defensive positioning with him is really nice, man. An overcommit with this guy right here. Alright, let's see what he's like chasing after somebody. Yeah, so you can definitely tell he's a little bit sluggish in regards to doing the, like, the left and right turns a little bit, for sure. Um, obviously, his height and body type is going to affect that quite a bit, especially because his agility and balance is not that high up. Um, so that part of it is a little bit noticeable. Like, if you're in this position right here and you get those little areas, like he's not going to pass you. He's going to be a brick wall. So those are the two things that I would say that's wrong with the card so far is obviously the agility and balance that he has is going to affect his left and right movement just a little bit. And also uh, the fact that if he's going to be caught out of possession, uh, possession or position, he is probably not going to, uh, you know, catch up with the player that quickly, but he'll do a decent job because at least he doesn't have... Uh, you know, 80 acceleration. He has 85 instead, right? All right, guys. So final verdict on Maguire's card. I think the shadow chemistry style definitely drastically improves this card quite significantly because like I said before the review, the two biggest features about this card is his physical presence and his defensive ability because this guy is so tall and so massive in game that the way that he defends to reach around attackers to defend against them when they're trying to take shots is absolutely brilliant. He takes really good decisions or he makes really good decisions in regards to the specific standing tackles and sliding tackle decisions that he has to make, right? And in, in regards to those things, he's really, really good. Now, obviously, he does have two problems with the card. One of the problems is that if you are not using the jockey system with him and you're just going left and right with him, he is a little bit, um, he sways a little bit, right? Because of the fact that his agility and balance with his body type and height in game obviously don't really go too well with each other. And the second thing is that if he's caught out of position, obviously chasing after the player isn't necessarily going to be ideal because he kind of has like this sloppy run to him to chase after the player. However, he definitely compensates way more on this car than it does on PK's car because the 85 acceleration to get back into position is really good. I find that if you actually overcommit him yourself, I feel like it's more your fault than anything else because his positioning defensive wise is really, really good and he holds that defensive line really nicely to the point where it's like, if you aggressively push him out, it's a little bit your fault, but it also depends on the tactics you're using for your defensive tactics because I was using, uh, I believe it was balance, balance or that or pressure on heavy touch. And you can see that the way that he was moving with Rio Fernand defensively was really, really solid. Those are the only two problems with that car, with this card. In regards to whether or not he's worth 330k, if you're doing the bronze pack method, why not? He's a really cool center back to have in a team. I think he plays really well. I actually might be able to unlock him soon and add him into my team instead of using, I believe the card is called King or something? No, it wasn't King. It was White. The White card from the EFL. Um, 
But yeah, guys, the card is really fun, man. Again, the two biggest things that make this card really good is his height, his physical presence, and his defensive ability. If you give him the shadow chemistry style, guys, you're going to be looking at a beast of a center back. That's the only two problems that he has is the swaying parts with just the left stick and when he's caught out of position. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'm going to have a bunch of EPL cards reviewed today as well. So uh, be sure to be on the lookout for that. So peace out, dudes. Love you guys. You guys have yourself a good one. Bye.